Why did I waste most of my life disparaging my looks until I actually got ugly? I wasted all of my pretty time projecting into the mirror the face and body that I actually have now at 39 don't wait until you are 89 to look back on pictures of yourself at 39 and think the same thing. Sounds like you are with doing the exact same thing to currently you that past you did to itself. You are doing the same thing that you did back then, now feeling attractive is what makes you attractive. One's mental health can play a big role in how they see themselves. Telling them they are pretty may not be enough. The best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. The second best time is today. I hope you understand what I mean. I'm 26 and I've already experienced this. I will look back at pictures from 5 years ago and think, oh wow. Why did I think I looked too ugly to post this? I'm really trying to appreciate my body more as I get older, but it's so hard. Especially if you have been abused or have been through trauma. Youth is wasted on the young. Also 39 and asking myself the exact same questions. But what are some qualities about yourself you do like? Besides physical features, I can tell you, looks only get you so far in life and then you need good work ethic, ambition, confidence a good personality for the rest. My partner is very attractive could honestly be with a woman much better looking than myself. But when we met, we hit it off right away he loved that I am confident in myself no matter why I don't care to be the prettiest girl in the room always I don't compare myself constantly to other women. I live at the beach, lots of good looking women live here if I started comparisons I'd be miserable depressed. When in reality I have a good life a lot going for myself, with or without my partner that gives me all the reassurance validation I need. Men seek out women who are confident, they don't want a woman they are going to have to remind 20 excess a day they are beautiful. Self-love is important to priority. Maybe you're not the hottest, the skinniest or a 10, but you're unique and original so long as you are real with others. Most people appreciate authenticity realness as that is becoming a hard quality to find now. The right man will love you for you. ID always thought I was unattractive. I had no idea how pretty I was. I look back at old pictures and wish ID had more self-esteem. I thought I was fat when I was thin, I nitpicked over my appearance. I probably had body dysmorphia. It didn't help that as a teenager I had friends who liked to say things to put down my appearance. I realized now they were jealous. I was far better looking than they were. I try not to make the same mistakes now and appreciate what I have, but it's difficult. I know I don't see myself as others do. You're probably much better looking than you think you are. The good news is you can change your weight. The bad news is we all get older. You can do it. I didn't start running until my mid 30s and managed to drop 60 pounds. Yes, it's hard at first, but it gets easier. It also not looks, but general health that matters as you inevitably march towards your demise. Thinking you look different from how you really look, or attributing negative judgments to your own perfectly pleasant looks, or thinking you're fat is a function of anxiety lack of confidence, or, depending on intensity and duration, a mental illness sometimes called body dysmorphia. It's a horrible waste of your time and your life to feel this way. I know. First, you are beautiful. Next, it's who you are as a person, your kindness, your values, not youth or adherence to some media ideal, that determines your goodness as a person. See a counselor, so you can stop placing such harsh judgments on yourself. Wow that's me. I feel the same. 45 now. These days I really don't like what I see in the mirror. I can't figure out what kind of clothing I should wear to look nicer. I am not really fat, but I was two sizes slimmer. Every day I am thinking about being old and not slim and good looking anymore. Because of my social anxiety I don't like to go shopping. I really hope I can get a bit back in shape. I'm trying my best with my diet and exercise. You are not alone. And remember, you're going to get even uglier later exclamation. You still have time, I had my 20 years high school reunion recently, and I was surprised at how good most women from my class look these days. Why? Mostly capitalism. I wasted 12 years of my life by being fat. All started at 28 when I got my driver's license that I actually didn't need, but cars and shit started driving everywhere instead of walking like I always done before, went from 155 pounds about 70 kg to 207 pounds about 94 kg in about 2 years, spent a decade with that weight, I couldn't even have sex, was too exhausted. Eventually it got to a point that my health was really bad and I had to do something about my excess fat, I'm now back to the 70 kgs after 2 years of dieting and exercise. At 47 yo now I feel I'm in the best shape of my life. Being in shape makes everything in life easier and better. Yeah, very relatable somebody something took your self confidence. Maybe you compared yourself to impossible reachable edited depictions. Or somebody compared them to you. 
good from you to tell your younger peers, but from my experience they will not listen. My 30-year-old son does this then tells me he can't get a woman then gets a woman. Really I've been trying to build his self-confidence for the last year. It's more avoid how you look at yourself than how others look at you. Low self-estimates, that is what people see not how you look. You see the chubby hairy guy who always has a hit woman on his arm that's why. Worse both ways around as well. I got a lot better looking in my now, after realizing that I was smoking hot in my youth. Just remember, you are still that gorgeous woman in the pictures, no matter what the mirror tells you. You are going to do this again at 49, 59, etc. because that negative dialogue is already a part of who you are. The only way to prevent this is to, while you're 39, delete that negative dialogue and replace it with words of celebration. Up, uh, it'll give you kind of the flip side. I was in incredible shape in my 20s because of my hobby. When I turned 30 I stopped, my marriage was horrific and I was super depressed. I got fat and wasn't living healthy. Well, I'm 43 now. 4 years divorced and back in really damn good shape. I look at pictures of myself from my 30s and see a sad fat depressed person and think about how much time I wasted in that state of mind vs being happy with myself and my life for who I am. Yuzu Knight. Maya Rudolph has said that on a couple of interviews, Man I wish I had worn more bikinis and yoga pants and had a slamming body dot. I did the same thing. BCPPL made fun of my big ass I though I was fat. But I looked great by today's standards. I did the same, but I realize now that I have to appreciate what I have today because I'm looking much better than I will tomorrow. I'm finally a senior. Older seniors look at me and say I'm a spring chicken. Girl, feeling this hard at 38. I was fine 20 years ago, why did I hide? Meanwhile I look at pictures from when I was 10 and think wow I was even ugly back then, too. I absolutely relate and spite and wanting to make up for lost time has made me feel more confident even though I am kinda chubby and have stretch marks from losing a lot of weight. Now that I am in my 30s I am very sure of who I am, and if people don't like a tough shit lol. Teenage me was fine, 39 not too late, it's never too late, it's all in the attitude shift. When I was a teenager my grandma told me she thought she was ugly her entire life, and now, in her 80s, she looks back and realizes she was pretty and wishes she had been kinder to herself. Another anecdote that made me cry was when Kylie Jenner said she used to hate her ears and get made fun of for having big ears, but now her daughter has the same ears and she can't see them as anything, but beautiful. Okay last thing is above, so below? As within, so without. There are fascia in our faces that hold subconscious micro-expressions. When we tell ourselves you're ugly, these are your flaws, you start to hold in a lot of facial tension which twists your face to look less appealing like you're scowling at people or bracing for a tense interaction. Like in The Witches by Roald Dahl. Once you start to consciously massage and relax these muscles, your face will feel a lot less tight and your expressions will subconsciously be a lot more inviting. Sending love.